It uses mighty lightning techniques, and their strike is thought to be divine punishment. Chaos and conflict can make people break their morals without a second thought. But if it is done for the sake of others and is just, does that make it right? Chaos and turmoil has taken over the digital world. Even in the state that it's always been, which is mostly survival of the fittest, this is a new level. As Imperial Dramon has assembled the Dark Forces, destruction ha like this has not been seen since the times of old. And in the case of those that are fighting, this is the first time in a very long time that a Legion of Darkness has appeared. The war has expanded itself far and wide, as when the Sovereigns attempted to contact the Three Great Angels, the Three Great Angels did dispatch a scout party. However, the scout party had failed to return, and now, due to their worry, they have decided to intervene. As Imperial Dramon has led its troops forward in advancing on multiple areas, new groups have been assimilated into the Dark Forces, those of the of the tattled metal empire and some of the scattered desert and those of the dark twilight knights have added themselves to the ranks of imperial Dramon. led by the three dark generals themselves chaos gallantmon kazuhamon and black mega gargamon so far their campaigns have been extremely fruitful even forcing the mamimon empire and prince mamimon to flee as that territory has been taken over other kingdoms and groups that do exist are worried that their homes will soon be taken over. Those of the various jungle areas, those of the mountains, the whole digital world itself is feeling thrown off on an axis, as those who have resisted Imperial Dramon have simply met their end, and those who have not have simply surrendered. The rate at which Digimon are going to the dark area has expanded exponentially more than it has before. Even worse than when Imperial Dramon was in its berserk rampage so long ago. As many Digimon have been sent off into different areas, the champions of light have been spread thin, leaving very little of them to defend those of the younger generation. Seeing this damage, the remaining sovereigns dispatch the Devas in order to lead and assist in this conflict. However, due to the lack of other high level Digimon, they're seemingly having to work with basically raw clay. As the Sovereigns themselves have not fully healed from their battle against Imperial Dramon, they're doing what they can to help as much as possible, but it still feels in vain. However, with the arrival of two of the three great angels, maybe hope still lives. As a rendezvous point had been made, Leomon was entrusted with taking care of the baby and in training Digimon, as some of the rookies that were still not proficient in fighting were stuck with Leomon, Leomon attempted to go out to sea, as the best way to get the young Digimon away would be to move them to a place where fighter mode could not reach them, at least for now. As the remaining forces of Digimon who are willing to stay and fight have started to congregate, the dark forces will arrive soon as their stamping campaign has had very much success against those. Unfortunately for the digital world, those of the good f oh, that love the good that are part of the good fight in of the forces of light, unfortunately, there are few and far and few between, as those of the digital world tend to deal with survival of the fittest, which leaves most of the Digimon to decide to go with Imperial Dramon, as unfortunately force is a very much more convincing persuasion than peace and allyship. On the day that the, saw, the two angels decided to descend, Ophanimon was left behind in case that the, they failed. As Seraphimon and Cherubimon descended, a small legion of the holy warriors from the heavens would attend, as they would be the escorts and the armies to assist in whatever conflict there'd be. However, the power that they were going to face was unprecedented. As they came into clearing, 
Leomon and the remaining Digimon attempted to load up the boats that had been left and created so that they could get the baby and training Digimon off of the continent. However, the dark forces were reaching over the horizon. In time, they would arrive and be able to start causing more destruction. Led by Panjiramon, the remaining forces would now take into account the battlefield as Zuchalmon would attempt to assist in whatever way it could. However, not being there present and only being able to add its energy would be the best it could do. As Pajiramon, although being a strong deva, would be set alone and having to use whoever it could to fight. As the battle would begin, the two great angels would descend, realizing that they made it just in the nick of time as the forces of good would be backed up by those of the heavens. As Seraphimon and Cherubimon would take point, giving Pangiramon at least some breath of relaxation, as Black Mega Gargamon and Kazuhamon would see that two great magnificent Digimon and only a herd of legends had appeared. However, in their case, this would not be as easy as it seemed, as stories of the great angels are talked and the power that they possess is immense. However, the Dark Forces Generals are nothing to scoff at, being labeled the Dragon's Fist. As both would descend into the battle, realizing that they'd face off against two of the most powerful Digimon to be recorded in their history. Cherubimon would battle Black Mega Gargamon, and Kazuamon would target Seraphimon. As the Dark Force Digimon would charge in, those of the Forces of Light would be led into battle by Panjiramon. But... Will this be enough? As they were already becoming outnumbered, Panjiramon and the others would be, have be forced to make a circle and defend themselves like that. As some of the dark side Digimon slip through, they're headed towards the remnant area of the last remaining baby Digimon that need to be loaded to the boats. Unfortunately, Leomon alone would not be enough. And before it was overwhelmed, two Digimon darted out. As a V headbutt, and a bunny blast would knock them away. Shocking everyone, a Vmon and a Terriermon arrived, and in order to assist even more, utilized Digimentals themselves, as the Vmon would turn into Lydramon, and the Terriermon would turn into Gargamon. Using their additional power, they were able to keep more of the Digimon off, and seeing that this was the best option that they had in order to help Leomon get the rest of the Digimon off the boat, and get them to another place. The struggles that they'd find was immense, as the numbers that they were dealing with would seem endless. However, for the angels above, the situation was becoming a lot more difficult, as although on one-on-one -on -one battles, this was very easy, as it seemed that they could easily match both of the Digimon generals. However, the third general had yet to descend, and with his appearance, the battle would take a turn for the worst, as Chaos Gallantmon himself is no slouch, as with his additional power, Black Mega Gargamon and Kazuhamon are easily able to turn the tides against the two angels, pressing both of them back. As Chaos Gallantmon can just casually cover for either of their weaknesses, he is able to assist them effectively. Seeing the situation unfold, the two rookie Digimon who have used their Digimentals have decided deep down that they have to do whatever it takes to win, and if that meant sacrifice, they would do it. Seeing the situation with Black Mega Gargamon and Gallantmon getting up on Cherubimon, the only other option was to get Seraphimon to help it, and if that meant them taking on the rumored Dark Witch Kazuhamon, they would do it. As both of them would dart off away from Leomon, they headed towards the direction that Kazuhamon was fighting Seraphimon. Although not perfectly one-to-one, -one, Seraphimon was still kept back as Kazuhamon has many, many powerful magic abilities. Struggling to hold her back, Seraphimon knew that it was only a matter of time before Cherubimon would fall. However, to its surprise, two attacks smashed into Kazuhamon. Nothing serious, but somewhat enough to at least get Kazuhamon's attention as both Lydramon and Gargamon stepped up to the plate to hold off Kazuhamon. Looking almost shocked, Seraphimon was moved, as it could easily tell that these were Digimon using Digimentals, as their forms looked somewhat incomplete. However, this was not time to complain, as it understood that it needed to get its time to help Cherubimon, and so it did. 
when Kazuhamon attempted to chase after Zarafimon, both of the Digimon lunged in, grabbing and attacking at Kazuhamon as best as they could. Even when the Lightning Blade and the Bunny Blaster was used against Kazuhamon, it seemed to be in vain, as although both of the Digimon have lots of spunk, it doesn't make anything to do with Megas. Kazuhamon laughed as the attacks meaningly were brushed off, as even with Blue Thunder and Bunny Barrage, no damage was taken by the Mega Level Digimon. As the Dark Witch General decided it would use its weakest attacks, and even with that, Lydramon and uh, Gargomon were thrown to the ground, attempting to go back to the battle against Seraphimon. Kazuhamon was surprised as both Digimon managed to stand. This was a surprise, but this was a surprise that was not good, as Kazuhamon was getting frustrated as how could these pathetic Digimon continue to stand, champions no less. Up to this point, Kazuhamon has essentially been the number two of the three generals, and the fact that it's struggling to defeat champions is not a good sign. However, deciding to humor them one last time, Kazuhamon told them it would give them a free shot. And if the free shot worked, well, in, in its mind, it knew it never would. However, it was seemingly allowing them to give it one last shot before it completely annihilated them. As both Lydramon and Gargomon roared that they would not give up, they charged in. However, something unknown to many, especially those who have not been around for the long times, is that the Digimentals themselves are tied to the Sovereigns. At some point down the line, their data was used to convert into some of the Digimentals. And in this case, it's going to show up right now. As, as Lydramon charged in, it seemingly was imbued with new power. Power had never known, as the outline and shape appeared of one of the Sovereigns, being a Zulongmon. And in the case of Gargamon, a new silhouette appeared as claws and fangs appeared by Humon. A silhouette appeared as both were able to smash in to Kazuhamon as Kazuhamon was completely taken back. As the blasts and the energies went through, both the Digimon landed on the other side. However, even with everyone on the battlefield shocked, they were immediately reverted back into Vmon and Terriermon as they were unsure of what happened. However, Kazuhamon was even more shocked as two holes now laid in its body as it was flung to the ground. Luckily, some of the dark Digimon were able to grab Kazuhamon and get Kazuhamon away, as in its state, any attack could probably finish it off. However, this was more than enough for Imperial Dramon to see. As the clouds ripped open, he descended, the Dragon Emperor in all of his glory. After pacifying other groups and basically forcing them to join, allegiances had been formed across other groups, making the Dark Forces even stronger. In this case, however, it seemed that Imperial Dramon wanted to settle this himself. As he approached the two rookies, both of them struggled as they grabbed their Digimantles and attempt to use them again. However, the deep cracks within both surprised them. As the mentals themselves had been pushed to their absolute limits, dwelling on power they had not known, but more importantly, reacting to sovereign debt power that has existed throughout the digital world has overloaded the Digimentals, making them difficult to use without time to reflect, reflect and heal them. As Imperial Dramon would laugh, it would say that once again, there are two pathetic Digimon in front of it that don't understand their power and they're about to be destroyed. However, seizing the opportunity, both Seraphimon and Cherubimon had an idea of what to do. Seeing that there was only one way to assist them, they targeted their Digimentals and gave them a power boost, sending whatever they had to both of them. In the case of Seraphimon, the friendship Digimental was transformed, providing it a miracle. In the case of Cherubimon, seeing a Terriermon reminded it of the time before when it once knew a Terriermon as well, being its brother. And in this case, it seems that maybe Destiny was played as the Digimental used by the, gar by by the Terriermon had morphed 
into a strange digimental. Understanding exactly what to do, both grabbed a hold of them, and they called forth the digimentals themselves. With a radiant power never seen before, the imaginate energy radiated through the battlefield as a shimmering light was shown. As darkness usually reigned in battles with the Dragon Emperor's forces, for the first time in a long time, it seems that the sun would rise again. As the light shimmered, all the forces were shocked. As the brightness enca encapsulated everyone and surprised them as well. As once this light subsided, in front of Imperial Dramon were two golden cladded Digimon. One looked like a Vimon that had been basically enlarged to fit into new armor. And on the other side was a Rapidmon, but it was golden. In this case, Imperial Dramon was unsure of what was going to happen. However, it was actually surprised when both of them darted forward, smashing into it and knocking Imperial Dramon back. For the first time in a long time, he had been caught off guard. And the Dragon Emperor actually smiled. Well, at least on the inside. He doesn't really have an ability to move his mouth. However, Imperial Dramon was shocked, but also a little happy. For once it felt that a challenge had been presented, and presented in a way that would make this more interesting. As the battle began between the two new Digimon, it was clear that the one of them needed a name. As it called out to Rapidmon, Rapidmon said, well, who are you? And the name was given at that moment as Magnamon said it was time to fight. As both of the Golden Digimon worked as best together as they could, one thing was clear. Although that they were extremely powerful, even the fact that they were just champions, they were rivaling the power of Megas, they were too green. As even with the best of their tag team abilities, Fighter Mode was tossing them around and playing with them, as if they were unable to do anything. This was a surprise, as even though both are massively strong, Fighter Mode's experience and the battles that it has fought has given it one thing that they don't tactics allowing them to run into each other allowing them to essentially miss their attacks as well as timing it so that when they come in he it can just get away however on the other side of the battlefield cherubimon managed to overpower black mega gargamon using its divine punishment to push it away as it would decide to assist however this was a dire time as imperial Eldramon was able to toss both magnamon and rapidmon into the ground it moved the cannon from its hand into its chest and prepared to use the Giga Death, as this was a fitting way to defeat two warriors, especially those it deemed strong. As it would say, thanks for the entertainment, it would yell, Giga Death. However, before the blast made it to the two Digimon, Cherubimon made it in front of the blast, taking it head on. As Cherubimon would tell both of the Golden Digimon, that the true power they possessed relied on the powers of others. The cries, the helps, the plea for justice and peace would be the key to survival. And as they wanted to understand what that meant, it was too late as Trubimon would use the last of its power to counter the blast, keeping the destruction to a bare minimum. As Cherubimon began to fade, its energy poured into the sky. The energy began to rain down on the two golden Digimon as both understood what to do. Magnamon rushed in while Rapidmon absorbed more of the energy. As Magnamon unleashed its energy, it roared Magna Blaster. As Fighter Mode fired another Giga Death, both beams clashed. As Rapidmon absorbed more energy, the two holy rings formed around its legs as it finally was able to charge in as well forming a triangle it called out the attack golden triangle firing its own attack as well as both beams clashed with fighter mode it became clear that they were evenly matched but as the calls of victory peace and justice empowered the two golden digimon the beam grew and grew as it slowly began to overtake Imperial. As the attack began to get closer and closer, Seraphimon rushed in from behind. 
as it was launching its Seven Heavens attack. Unable to move, Fighter Mode feared the worst, and at the moment it thought it was going to be attacked, it braced itself. However, it felt nothing. To everyone's shock, Black Mega Gargamon stood in the way as it collapsed, falling after taking the attack for Imperial Dramon. With its focus now lost, the blast overtook Fighter Mode. The light from the attack peered into its soul as two pairs of eyes opened. When the smoke cleared, Imperial Dramon looked damaged, a crack forming on its dragon head chest. Attempting to fight back, Imperial Dramon attempted to raise its arm, but it could not. It felt as if something was holding its arm down. Seeing no other option, Chaos Gallimon landed near front of Imperial Dramon, telling it that they should leave. Turning to where Kazuhamon would be, Chaos Gallimon was shocked, as Kazuhamon was violently cut down by Slash Angemon, as it yelled, No! As Slash was apparently ca captured by the Dark Forces, but is now somehow free. As both of the generals now gone, and the Dark Forces disorganized, Chaos Gallimon saw no other option, as it raised its shield, as it told all of the Dark Forces to retreat grabbing Imperial Dramon as it fled. The power of Gorgon itself created shadows distracting the forces of light. The retreating forces of dark for the first time shocked the forces of light. As many cheered, few understood that this was just a small victory in the long war that was to come. As the forces surrounded the ailing Cherubimon, who told Seraphimon to aid the forces of light, for this was their duty as the great angels. Cherubimon took one last look at both Magnamon and Rapidmon, as it gave them one more smile before turning into a digi-egg, and its essence departed for the dark area. As the final boats were loaded, and Leomon prepared to set sail, both Vimon and Terriermon spoke to Seraphimon and Ophanimon, as the golden digimentals would be held on to, till needed once again. As the boats drew out to unknown lands, both Seraphimon and Ophanimon discussed a replacement for Cherubimon, as the situation has now become even more dire than it was prior. However, even higher than the angels themselves, an overseeing Yggdrasil noticed the destruction caused by Imperial Dramon and the Dark Forces, and no noticed that it could no longer simply sit by as the digital world's defender would need to be contacted, otherwise Yggdrasil's interfer interference could lead to the digital world's destruction. As the ailing fighter mode reached its base camp alongside Chaos Gallimon, the dark forces gathered again. However, they were greeted by Grey Knightsmon, who brought the restrained Rise Greymon before Imperial Dramon. All that could be said was a sinister feeling was felt across the area, as the Dark Forces were not out of the game just yet. However, little did they know that a big target was now placed on their backs. With the Dark Forces now in their first retreat and the loss of Trubimon, Yggdrasil must now interfere, as the digital world's safeguard is now in play. If we were to learn anything from this part, is that relying on others is the best we can do in battle. By supporting each other, our chances to prevail go up. If anything is to be learned from this, is that by standing together, we can overcome. And only time will tell how we'll go from here. But for Imperial Dramon, the curtain is opening to a new position. But what will it reveal, and how will the digital world take it? This is Brad, from the Ed Army. Signing off. And from all of you out there to sign on.